What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live. But not live. From our home in London. But where are you coming from, Free Gang? Let us know in the comments with the hashtag live but not live where you are coming from and how you are doing. We hope everything's very good in your world. We've actually been really enjoying home time, haven't we? Yeah, we, we've actually been in all day. It's freezing outside and it's evening. We're starting a video in the evening. Oh my goodness. Doesn't happen very often. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, we've just been having a nice, easy day. Had a lot of fun. Joe just been doing his homeschooling today and got into reading books, like chapter books, hours on end. I think he actually finished a book the other day and he's finished another one today. Yeah. He's on fire. What's that book you finished today, Jojo? It's, it's called The Wild Robot and it's a very fun book about a robot in the world. Oh. <laughs> How would you rate it? Just what it says on the book. How would you rate it out of 10? I would maybe rate it, it was a very good book, I'd rate it a 95. The 95 out of out 10, 10, that's pretty good. That is pretty I, good. I thought, I thought you were saying out of 100, sorry, my brain tricked me. Not only have we been homeschooling with Jojo, we've actually been homeschooling the cat as so, well. Yeah. It's about time she learned a few things, isn't I it? I know, yeah. yeah. She's she's not up to scratch on her English. We speak to her and she still goes, Neil, back, and it's like, what's that mean? Also, I've been making bread today. Well, I've been uh, teaching Jojo about sourdough starter, and he helped me uh, feed the sourdough starter, which is how you make sourdough bread. Which yeah, that's is really what interesting. That's been really handy about. We've, you know, we've travelled a lot of the last six months or so, and this is the longest period in that six months that we've had at home, and we've been really getting into home things like baking yeah. and yeah. sorting things out. Yeah, we're doing all the things that we can't do when we're in the van. Yeah, um, especially stuff in London. Obviously. Especially stuff in London. Which is a good segue to what today's video is about. As yeah. you've probably been watching for a few minutes and going, why is that one why in a tie and a shirt? And, and that this one- this one's in a, in a onesie. Ready well, that's because face. I'm smart and this one is stupid. <laughs> now Katie was- I'm glad they know us because they know you, you are joking all the time. Yeah. He does not mean this. Okay? Katie just wanted to try and bring the balance back in our relationship. I thought if I dress up smart and she just wears a onesie, we might be on par with each other, but it turns out she's still better. You've just totally redeemed yourself. Did I? Well, oh, because I insulted you, right, okay. Yeah, no, seriously. So Seriously, we're gonna be serious. You're probably now. wondering why the, the this is happening. Are but we actually going to genuinely tell them now? Yeah, we're going to tell them. Uh. As you guys know, for a few years now, we have trying to lessen the things that we buy. We still do Christmas big, but we're trying to be more conscious with the things we buy. And one of the things that we get each other is experiences. And a couple of Christmases ago, we bought at each other loads and loads of tickets for theatres in London and we were just enjoying it so much. And it's got to that time of year now, we started really looking into that. I don't know what it is about this time of year, but we really started thinking about going back to watch some of well, the Well, everything's things. opening up. Everything's open now and it's really cool. Everything's open. So yeah, we're, we just uh, looked online and we realized that actually the price has gone up so much. When we got tickets before, we got a really good, decent price, like 50 quid and under. Most of them were like really good prices. Yeah, right? I do have some re really amazing tips on how to get cheap theatre tickets, which I will tell you later on in the video. Yeah, but seeing as we're back in London and also it's Bob's birthday in a couple of weeks, I thought I would have a look and see if I could get a really cheap ticket for him to go and see his favourite musical, which is... The Phantom of the Opera. The Phantom of the Opera, which not only Bob is obsessed with, but we are all actually obsessed with this musical. You've seen it three times. I know. We took Jojo, look. Look at this thing. I don't normally go in the gift shop and get seduced by the gifts, but come on. This look bear at this. costs 30 quid. This bear costs more than your ticket this evening. Yes. And the ticket that I got Bob for this uh, musical this evening was £22.50 because we wanted to see what the cheapest ticket was going to be like. Yeah, if it's worth it and, you know, yeah. would you recommend it? Because we want to take Jojo. He really, really wants to go again. So we're going to see if these cheap tickets are actually worth it. And also for you guys, you know, a lot of you have been saying in the comments that you're on a budget, you're on low income. So, you know, it's a way so that we can feed back to you whether it's worth it to actually get these tickets. And if you still enjoy the show, what the seats are like, whether you can see the stage. Yeah, I'm doing it for you guys purely. I take nothing from this myself. <laughs> He's going to have a 
a great time. You, either way, the music's going to be amazing. But yeah. well, you want to feedback? I want to know like what the seat is like, how far back you're going to be, yeah. what you can what the see, experience is yeah, like, what everything. the what the expect that whole experience. As you can hear, this is how obsessed these two are with this musical. Is she's seen it three times? Yeah, but you learned how to play the song on the piano. So did Jojo. Check it out, guys. No, right. That's just. There we go. Okay, I hope you're gonna do it well, Bob. Just warm it up. I sell CDs of that performance, you can find them in the uh, description. No, link don't. in the description. 99.99, absolute bargain. No, don't. Be cheaper to get a ticket and go to the show. Right, should we get ready and go? We're gonna walk you around to the station. Yes, we'll walk around the station and just get the show on the road. Are you gonna be going out like this? Yes. Literally. With a coat over the top? Yes. I've done it many times before, you guys know. I'm off to see the wizard. Oh, it's the wrong show. We're on our way to the station now, guys. Oh, I really hope this is a good seat. I mean, I'm interested to see what it's like, because obviously we've been before and it was front row. Obviously this is going to be very different, but so I'm interested to see yeah. how it's going to differ. To get the same seats now as what we got before, it's about a hundred and fifty pounds per person. Just for person. one, yeah. So You've actually got three seats for you, Jojo and Emily for less than that, all I three. know, I know, and that was front row, so yeah, we'll see. It, so it would be, if we bought those really expensive tickets, it would be over 450 pounds for all of us to go. So yeah, really, I'm really interested to know. As you, some of you may remember guys, Jamie did this a few years back. She went to see The Lion King with the cheapest ticket. But she wasn't really impressed, was she? Yeah, I don't know. She, yeah. She's Jamie's got okay. Jamie's got a high standard. She's though. got a very high standard. <laughs> so another little tip with saving money and budgeting. At the theatre, the snacks and things like that that you might like to eat at the interval, rather than spend a lot of money on getting stuff there, get stuff before and take it in with you. So we're going to stop at a shop right now and I'll get some snacks that I can take with me to have during the interval. Don't do what we did before though, when we tried to sneak loads of food into the cinema. Oh yeah. The grapes, no way. That's too rigid, that's just like... The nuts, I can do, I can get more nuts in. <laughs> How are you gonna sit? You've got, you've got to drive! That was a little bit too much, I think I won't do it this time. Yeah, it was too much. Yeah. I'm wearing quite a tight shirt. Uh, excuse me. Are you grabbing most of the meal for you? Um, I'm grabbing most of the Face. Oh. Jojo's obsessed with oranges, aren't you, Jojo? It's a good yeah. obsession, healthy obsession. Get lots of vitamin C from these. Mm -hmm. So I've gone for some crisps and just some fruit. I actually bought my own spring water, but I think that'll be enough. Yep. Jojo's even got more though. And you're not even going with him. So, just come off the tube. The nearest tube to the theatre is Piccadilly Circus. It's really easy to get to from here. So, if you are coming to this theatre in particular, Piccadilly Circus is the one to come to. And from here, you're just down the Haymarket. It's five minutes, and then you're there. So, nice and easy. So, here we are. That was quick, wasn't it? See, it didn't take any time at all. Really excited now I'm here. So, we we'll are going, find my seat, and then I'll reveal everything about how the experience was and everything you need to know when we're back at home. So, I'll see you then. Hello. Okay, how was it? Very, very good. <laughs> He's just walked through the door. I wasn't allowed to ask him any questions on the phone. Actually, we've got to keep our voices down because Jojo's in bed as well. Yeah, I denied. I was like, no. I'm Why is your shirt untucked? Because I've just got eyes. I'm just like, eh. Hey. <laughs> Why do you bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> just noticed in the camera. Oh, great. <laughs> no, no, it was, a, it was a really, really good night. I'm very glad I went. Thank you, because that was your treat and idea. Oh, that's all right. So how was your seat then? It was good. I mean, there is a pillar in front of you, and I thought, and I knew ah, that as well. So that's says, why it's cheaper. Yeah, it, it says it said when you got the ticket, restricted view. I thought this was going to be about a foot and a half wide, so I was quite surprised when I got there, and it was only about that wide, less than a foot, maybe ten inches. Oh, okay. So yeah. could you see around it? Or? Yeah, in general you could see. Obviously it does take a good chunk of the stage out, and so it means you have to lean round a bit. Fortunate for me today, the there was no one in the seat to the left of me. So, for the first half, I was just leaning round like that. 
if someone was sat next to me, I don't know if me sat there like that, <laughs> right next to them would have gone down well. However, you could just position yourself like that. And then there's other times you go like that. So there was yeah. a guy to my right and I was leaning across sometimes, but not leaning on there and resting, making myself really comfortable. Yeah, What? how did it sound from where you were? Really, really amazing. You've got three levels in this theater. You've got the stalls, the Royal Circle, and then I don't know what the next one's called, the Upper Circle, but that's the top uh, level. So I'm in the middle one and it's quite a low roof that doesn't restrict your vision, but I feel like you're quite contained in there. And the uh, main speakers and all of the sound, which is in the stalls area, doesn't super penetrate the area all the time. However, when they were really singing powerfully, mm. it just went through, you know, and I was just getting <laughs> chills again and again. So it was hard because when we've been before, we've been in the front row, yeah. it was hard to not be comparing with that. However, there are pros and cons of both. At the front row, it's great. You're really close to the action. You see everything, but your view is from down here, whereas mm. up on the Royal Circle, I'm looking down and seeing all of the back of the stage and everything. All at the same time. Exactly, oh, so, so that was really interesting. I, w I, I wouldn't say that the pillar being there ruined it. Yeah. I would say I just had to work around it. But yeah, so it really does reduce it and you can see why, but I don't think it takes as much away. If you think about the amount of price that has taken, between your seat and the one next to you. Mm. I don't think for just a pillar being away, so you having to compensate made a huge So that's difference. a really good tip then. If you get one of these cheap tickets, if you see a seat empty, then just move into a, a better seat. I also went and checked out in the stalls, because when we looked at the reduced prices for seats, there were some 25 pound ones, and they were at the very back of the stalls area. Oh, did you check what Yeah, was so that I like? went and looked at that view, and that was okay. Obviously, you're a lot further back. And I don't think that the above roof came down that much and cut off your view. If you were going for this only performance, that would be really good value. I don't think you'd feel disappointed like you didn't get the full experience. It's, it's very different if you've had a certain seat like the front and a good or a really good view mm. that isn't obstructed and then you have that in comparison. It, it didn't feel like a step down because the price was significantly lower. You know, if you paid 120, or 150 pounds for the front row. Yeah. This is way more value. For me, the music is the most important thing. If you could hear the music like yeah. really well, then that's immersive enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Music. And it's so powerful. I think what it is, obviously, they have it coming through speakers up in the Royal Circle. When you're in the stalls and close to the front, you've got the live music from the band as well. So that's probably why that feels more immersive. Yeah because you've got speakers around you and you've got the like, the proximity to the actual band themselves in the pit. So the seats next to me were spare and I moved into that for the second half. Ah, oh, so you did And there were two people up. sat there and they got a ticket yesterday as well. No, they got it today. And they asked me how much mine was and I told them and they was like, oh, I don't know how much theirs was, but it's probably a lot more. One of them was their first time. And really? they, they loved it. Because I said to them when they went, oh, about the ticket, I said, look, Whatever you've paid, it will be worth it. Trust yeah, me. Yeah. And after I said, was it worth it? She was like, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a 10 out of 10 thing then, yeah? We're rating. Yeah. Okay. Leg room? Leg room is good. Putting it in terms of theatre leg room, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Leg in room. general, there's not a huge amount of leg room in theatres. Yeah. So as far as this guy, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. So music? I'll probably give that an 8 out of 10 as well, actually. Really? Bec yeah, because being in the stalls is going to be your 9s and the 10s, probably but it's still penetrating. Like I say, it gave me chills. I got a bit teary towards the end as well. <laughs> View of the stage? So, okay, that's probably uh, six or a seven. This is the thing, it's like you have to just lean. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So, it, so I guess that's, you don't have to do that in other places. Yeah, so maybe a six. Well, you did move into the other seat. Yeah, so. I'm not counting that. Yeah, but I guess like, if you're talking ones, twos, or threes out of 10, that would be, I struggle to see. And from the this other I didn't seats, struggle to you see. said you went to the back of uh, yeah. where the other cheap seats were. Would you, what would you give them for view of the stage? Maybe a seven, because they're just that much further back. Okay. They're really far back. Overall immersiveness of the show? Probably eight out of 10 as well. Because oh. the music really gets through you. It's not the same as when you've got the band in that there, which would obviously be your nines and tens. If it affected me in a way, do you know what I mean? Then it must work. Yeah. So overall value? I'd have to give it 10 out of 10. 
Yeah. I it's mean, twenty two pounds fifty. Yeah. So and it's such an amazing show, guys. I yeah. would highly, highly recommend that. It's uh, it's our favourite out of all of the shows, and we have seen so many West End shows, yeah. haven't we? Let me point out something about this restricted view. You know what you're getting in the sense of this pole that you have to lean around it. This the pillar, pillar or whatever doesn't move. Yeah. There was a lady next to me, and she was with, I think, her friend and her parents. What happened with them, just before it started, the woman who was next to me on the right said, Dad, when you swap round, I can't see. And then the guy in front had a joke, oh, is it my big fat head, was it? And the dad swapped round because he said, I've seen it loads of times. And so you can get in a situation where you get a great seat, a great position, and you end up with someone big in front of you. You can't do anything about that. At least with this one, you can navigate it a bit. Oh. So let me give you a few quick tips on how to get cheap tickets, guys. So always the best site to go on is the actual site of the show itself. It's always where we found the best prices for the shows. Also, try midweek days, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Wednesdays we've found normally are the cheapest yeah, days. But so midweek are always best, try and avoid weekends. If you've got a free Wednesday night, it's always worth just having a look on the day. What tends to happen is they want to fill the theatres. So any odd seats left over, they will reduce the price on just to get them filled. Yeah, you can't even leave it till the afternoon, see what's there, and maybe have a look in the morning and then look in the afternoon as well. Because no theatres want to have empty seats. It yeah. just looks really bad on them. Also sign up to the mailing list uh, for the different theatre organisations, because different theatre organisations run different shows. Because when you get their emails, you find out about when they're doing sales or when they're doing offers as well. That was when me, Jojo and Emily went. Uh, we found they had an offer and it was like a January sale or something yeah. and they were £30 each, those tickets. So yeah, it's really worth saying. Front to those. row. Yeah. <laughs> so that's about it for today's video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you've found this useful if this is something you're considering to go and see this show or any other shows. Saw the bear in there. <laughs> this bear costs more than the tickets. That tells you something. Although it's expensive, it's a cute bear. Yeah, we really hope this video has helped you because it's videos that like this that helped us when we were looking at going to shows. But that is it for this video. So we will see you in the next video. Just remember, no matter what's happening in your life, always stay free and keep rising.